T-Roc is one of Volkswagen's most important models for years, representing the brand in the affordable style conscious end of the fast growing mid-sized SUV segment. Almost everything you can't see on this car comes from a Golf hatch, which is no bad thing. As for the stuff you'll admire in the driveway, well, it all looks satisfyingly fashionable. On the move, the T-Roc is quite an enjoyable thing to punt around, at least by the modest standards set by its class. Uh, Volkswagen talks in terms of this car being an SUV from the inventor of the GTI, which might overly raise your hopes in this regard. In fact, it still isn't quite as agile as a conventional Golf hatch it's based on. Nonetheless, uh, the driving dynamics on offer here are definitely closer in demeanor to that of a family hatch rather than to any kind of SUV. Plus, you get easy urban manoeuvrability, a slick six-speed manual gearbox, and impressive refinement. You'll want to know about engines. Uh, Volkswagen expects most buyers to opt for petrol power, with primary interest likely to be focused on the 115 PS 1-litre TSI unit we're trying here. This combines a ready turn of pace with impressive efficiency, 55.4 mpg on the combined cycle and 117 grams per kilometre of CO2. Stretch further up the petrol range to the 150 PS 1.5 litre TSI Evo power plant and you'll also be off the option of a version combining a 7-speed DSG automatic gearbox and 4-motion four four-wheel drive. Go for the top petrol model, the 190 PS 2 litre TSI T-Roc and you also have to have those two elements. There are a couple of diesel options too with 115 PS 1.6 and 150 PS 2 litre TDI units on offer, uh, the latter available with the optional DSG auto transmission or the four motion system. That four wheel drive setup also gets you more sophisticated multi link rear suspension. The T Rock's extrovert styling is certainly very different to that of Volkswagen's conservative Tiguan. It's smaller too, the uh, compact 4.2 metre length, not only 252 millimetres shorter than its SUV stablemate, but also 21 mil shorter than a Volkswagen Golf. Uh, the Wolfsburg brand's head of design, Klaus Bischoff, and his team have gone for a wide and long stance allied to a relatively low roofline and a steeply raked C pillar. Provided you dress it up a bit, certainly makes a statement. So, plenty of effort's gone into the exterior design. Uh, the cabin architecture isn't quite as adventurous, although in this mid-range design variant, attempts have been made to lift things with coloured flashings. They're available either in uh, energetic orange, turmeric yellow, or as in this case, Ravenna blue. A highlight absent on this test car is the optional active info display. That's another feature that's effective in uh, deflecting attention away from some of this hard, brittle surfacing. What your dealer salesperson will probably most want to emphasize, though, is the big advantage in media connectivity that this T-Roc enjoys in comparison to some of its rivals. A high-set, glass-fronted, 8-inch infotainment screen dominates the centre stack on all models, upgraded here to the Discover navigation system that's fitted to the plusher variants and which is optional lower down the range. Now, time to take a seat in the back. Once inside, the differences between this model and its Tiguan showroom stablemate are readily apparent. As you'd expect, the shorter body length makes quite a difference to legroom here, uh, and nor is there the sliding seat base that you get in the Tiguan to improve things in that regard. Uh, you might expect headroom to be a touch restricted too, given the coupe-like rear styling and the fact also that uh, rear passengers sit 46 millimeters higher than those at the front. As it turns out, a couple of six-foot passengers can just about sit behind a couple of equally lanky front seat occupants with some degree of comfort. Finally, let's take a look out back. Now there is an adjustable height boot floor that you can lower if necessary for taller items. Um, as for actual boot capacity, well that varies a little depending on the drive layout you've chosen. It's rated at 366 litres for a front driven model like this one, or 324 litres in a four motion equipped four wheel drive variant. As Volkswagen well knows, this is the kind of car it needs to make to satisfy the mainstream part of the current fickle uh, fashion-led SUV market. 
It's not quite the SUV GTI that its maker thinks it is, but it's a good deal better to drive than most of the alternatives that you might be considering. And while at the same time, it delivers the kind of emotive looks that have never previously featured on a mainstream Volkswagen model striking, sporty and confident, the T-Roc is the kind of car the company should have offered us years ago. And it's certainly the kind of car it needs to rebuild its fortunes right now.